Hi guys. Hello everyone. Today I finally have another unboxing video for you. Um, this is another unboxing of a um, table game, table board game. Um, it's a game that I actually received. Uh, the video is not sponsored, but um, I still wanted to show this game because I just really like unboxings and especially if it's unboxings of games. It's from a small company called Theme Born and I honestly have no idea what this game is about, but um, I believe they were inspired by Eldritch Horror, which is another um, horror game themed board game that I unboxed quite a long time ago. And um, this is another like horror themed game, I believe. So I received, let me check, I received two packages. So gonna see like what the, the difference is between them um, so I think I received two completely different games so I'm going to start with this one as you can probably tell I have a different setup again. I'm still trying to figure out um, what my ideal setup for recording is in this room, especially with the light. I need to get a new uh, lamp. I have a ring light, but it kind of broke down and I can only use it on a uh, little stand at this side. So I always have light from this side, but it's fine. So I'm going to start by removing the bubble wrap. I really love bubble wrap since I was a kid. Whenever my mom would buy something and we receive a package, I always ask for the bubble wrap. I'm trying to very gently pull it up. some bubble wrap here you know how as a kid you just grabbed the bubble wrap and you just twisted it so it made like all the pops in a row I just really like the sticky sounds. Escape the Dark Castle, the game of atmosphere, atmospheric adventure. I always love this sound, it's like one of my favorite kinds of tapping sounds, I guess. <laughs> to remove the um, plastic wrap yes 
it's always tricky to find the the start of where to peel it but I have kind of long nails so I can always make like a little tear and then yeah I got it satisfying sound. Okay. wondering if there's tokens in this game the sound of the tokens in the other game really want to throw it. I always throw these. It's tempting. So here is the game. Escape the dark castle. I like how it looks. It looks very, um, what's the word? Artsy, like, like it's a sketch. Someone just sketched this. I really, I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna read a bit at the back. After years of wrongful incarceration, you finally break free of your cell. Now you face danger at every turn on a desperate quest to escape. Escape the Dark Castle is a simple fantasy adventure game with a focus on atmosphere, storyteller and player cooperation. Perfect for newcomers to tabletop gaming. That's the word I was looking for at the beginning tabletop game unboxing. It's a bit complicated. Um, players take the role of prisoners and must work together, using dice and item cards to overcome the castle's many horrors, traps and challenges. Can you escape the dark? The contents are 45 chapter cards, 35 item cards, six character cards, three bo boss cards, one start card, nine chapter dice, six character dice, one score pad, four pencils and one rule book. They say it's for 14 plus the age, one to four people and average play time of around 13 minutes. Two minutes set up simple rules, easy to learn, social, cooperative gameplay, with rich atmospheric adventures and a different castle every time. That is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Now shall we look at the inside of this box? See what it looks like. I'm 
sorry, I always need to smell new stuff. It's a weird habit, especially if it's made of like cardboard or paper, I think it smells so nice. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who does that. There is a little book, a rule book. Smells nice and new. <laughs> Download the app. They have an app. That's pretty cool. The object of the game is to overcome every card in the castle deck while keeping everyone in your group alive. If you do this, you all escape the dark castle and win the game together. However, if anyone dies along the way, the game ends immediately. You must try again. You need to um, set up the game, shuffle the cards, deal 15 face down to form the castle deck. Shuffle the boss card, place one face down underneath the castle deck. Place the start card on top of the castle deck with the image of the castle face up. Shuffle the item card deck and place it face down to the right of the castle deck. And place the chapter dice in a pool above the castle deck. Ooh, all the steps. I like, I really like how this is all like simple black and white drawings yeah I like the I like the style oh you can play it solo now This is what's inside. We got some, I think these are the castle cards. We got the dice, some smaller cards, and some pencils. Okay. Um, We got quite some dice in here, and they look pretty cool. We have the black ones, we got some white ones, and they all have little unique symbols on them. The material feels, it's, it's, it's plastic, but it feels interesting. They feel nice. I always like the sound of dice.
Ooh, the back actually looks... Do not read until you have completed the last chapter card. Oops, I read it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna open this here. Satisfying. These cards are big and nice. And they smell good, as usual. <laughs> okay. There's quite a lot of cards. I'm gonna show you guys some of them. And there's like a different side. These ones are black at the other side. dark actually I would say this is actually a horror tabletop game maybe more than Eldritch horror when it comes to the atmosphere and the actual vibe that you're getting from it because there's like all these drawings and I don't know if you have pictures like this and drawings, it actually um, really gives you a certain mood or a vibe about the game. Yeah, I like this. This one, for example, says a skeletal form lies slumped in the corner of this dark chamber. Beneath the dust of ages, it still clutches a moldering map. As a group, choose one option. Move on. Something isn't right here. Turn the next chapter card. Or steal the map. Nominate a player to roll two wisdom in three attempts. Success, the map leads to a hidden cache. Draw two item cards. Failure. The skeleton twitches, then rises from its ancient slumber to punish you, destroying the map in its rage. Begin combat. This is pretty cool. This actually gives me D&D vibes. There's like different options and you need to roll for it, which can lead to different actions. This is, this is pretty cool. I like that. Here, this one for example. Says a hooded man approaches, he looks cautiously over his shoulder and then whispers, asking if you wish to trade. Each player may choose one option, trade or negotiate. Yeah, this is cool. There's some really disturbing cards out there. I like it. Oh, there's a spider. This is really cool. By the way, there's a huge fat fly in my room. So if you hear him, I hope it just gives you some nice ambient sounds or something, because I don't think that chunker is gonna leave this room anytime soon.
just this little note book, I think. I this 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 is to keep track of your moves, I guess, your score, the steps. I'm not sure, but I used to play games like this where you had to like keep track of the score manually with notes. <laughs> Maybe that's where the app that they have is for. So you can just keep track of your steps in the app instead of writing it down. I think this is the item card deck. It looks like items. I'm gonna open it. And then we're going to have a look. I'm actually thinking like unboxing one of these. It's already so exciting to do and takes quite some time. I might just save the other one for another separate video. Just to not spoil you guys too much in one video. <laughs> I wish someone could like do IRL ASMR to me one day. I'm always making videos, but I want to, <laughs> I want to be spoiled too. I wish I had friends who made ASMR videos. The back of these cards are quite dark and maybe when you quickly look at it you don't really see much but when you look at it like a bit more carefully you see these three symbols the eye the fist and I don't know some kind of cross so these are items weapons so far hmm. there's a rune whenever you roll a double you may change it to any single liquid luck is a potion Discard to reroll your character die, applying only the second result. Oh, there's quite a few of these. Actually. Elixir of Insight. Discard before any round of combat to change any chapter die to show a trait of your choice. There's quite a few of them. Some more potions and some armor, a rotten shield. Whenever you would lose HP, reduce the amount by 1, down to a minimum of 1. Oh, there's a infested cheese wheel. <laughs> Discard to restore 1 HP. There's some loaf of bread for 2 HP. We got a partially rotten apple. <laughs> the food is all a bit rotten. A yeah, back at the weapons warped cudgel. Cudgel is that how you say it? A rusted flail. So 
So these are the item cards. And then we have some pencils. on this thing So I just read the little rule book and apparently these white dice are your uh, character dice. So I think it does like it indicates a move or something like that. These are chapter dice, the black ones. So that's pretty cool really curious about the other game now, but I'm gonna save that for another video just because I really like unboxings and I recently got quite a lot of comments of you guys and also some messages on discord asking um, when I'm gonna do another unboxing again I was just thinking I don't have anything to unbox I don't order things to unbox anymore I don't know, my, my phase of ordering things that I could use in videos for unboxings was kind of over, so that's why I took this opportunity to do another unboxing video. So I'm gonna exploit it and leave the other game for another unboxing. So, that's the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed the unboxing and don't forget to help support my channel by clicking on the notification bell if you're subscribed a lot of people are still not subscribed or a lot of subscribers haven't uh, clicked on the notification bell so please don't forget to do that and also don't forget to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down and leave down a comment to boost the interaction and algorithm for this video so thank you guys so much for watching have a great night sleep well stay safe and i see you guys next time thank you so much for watching bye bye